Daylight savings time starts this weekend. Why, why do we do that again? I'm Anthony, this is D News, and in 1895, New Zealand entomologist George Vernon Hudson, who had a very smart mustache, was sitting in the dirt collecting bugs and thinking about how the days get shorter in winter and how many super sweet bugs he was missing out on because of it. So he wrote up a proposal and he said, guys, let's shift the clocks in the winter so we get more sunlight. And so the modern idea of daylight savings time was born because of bug collecting. It caught on in World War I when Germany decided to use it to conserve coal and everyone started doing the same. In 1916, it became a law in England to observe summertime, thinking it would get the population outside more and promote better health and well-being. And the US followed suit two years later and then it just sort of stuck. And the longer it stuck, the more we just sort of came up with reasons to keep doing it. But those reasons don't necessarily hold up. First off, Farmers don't really care about daylight savings time. Farmers run by the sun's schedule, not the clocks. They still have a shorter work day in the winter. There's no way around it. So you can let that theory die. Then there's the idea of energy efficiency. In the 70s, studies showed that by giving us an extra couple of hours of daylight at the end of the day, we kept our lights off and we knocked 1% off our energy use. But that was in the 70s. Thanks to computers, home air conditioners, businesses being open later, we've actually offset those savings. And you know, it's also kind of implemented confusingly. See, the US is one of only 70 countries that actually observes daylight savings time, which leaves a huge part of the world not doing it. And here's the kicker. The law doesn't require states in the US to observe it. The only thing the Uniform Time Act of 1966 actually says is, hey, if you're going to do this, you have to do it the same way as everyone else. So no setting the clocks back more than everyone or a week after everyone else does. And some of the US is like, cool, if we don't have to do this, we'll just pass. Hawaii doesn't observe daylight savings time. Neither does most of Arizona. Indiana used to be split between observing and not observing it, which led to a lot of confusion and a really good episode of the West Wing before the entire state started participating in 2006. So why do we observe daylight savings time? Well, depending on who you ask, we just do it because we've always done it and it would be a hassle not to do it anymore. What do you guys think? Is daylight savings time something we need? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.